Hey all guys, what is going on? I'm back with another video for you guys. It's all about gossip, basically. Takeshi69 is out of prison. He's made a new song. Adele lost weight. And yeah, times are crazy. Also, a bit of YouTube gossip uh, about Joe Weller. What he's going through at the moment. His, uh, I don't know, crisis, this YouTube crisis, if you've like, we know we've all been there, well, I, I know what he means, I, I feel his pain, when you're doing the video and you, you don't quite act yourself, just try and get more views, but it doesn't work, well it does in his case, but you've got to age with your audience, you've got to adapt, but anyway, before I get into it for real, roll the intro. Alright, let's start with the Rainbow Head Rapper 6 9 um, If you don't know the story, um, basically he's some kind of rapper, though I can't understand many of his lyrics. Um, and so, maybe two years ago, um, he got arrested because of gang affiliation and stuff, and other stuff I don't know the details of, like gang involvement anyway um, and there was like a a hoax kidnapping of him that he stayed um, but what he did to decrease his time in prison he snitched on most of them you know snitches get stitches basically and he's got it coming um, sadly but he's facing free the music you know he's free in some ways if he didn't grasp he'd still be in prison and he said he was doing it to save what? Well, I mean, they say it's because of Corona. They let him out to avoid getting ill because he has asthma. But he also did um, testify against these people. Um, and they're doing time while he gets less time in prison. But will he go back to prison or not? Who knows? Anyway, back to the video. To save what, himself after all the things they've done to him they deserve it yeah maybe they deserve to be in prison but you're a snake in some ways and his new song is just celebrating that he's out and laughing at them um, and his address was revealed so that's not good I mean you see a rainbow coloured Lamborghini go with rainbow hair and yeah but is he an advocate of LGBTQ or something uh, because he's got a lot of rainbow colours going on like everything is rainbows. Like, is that is? Am I the only one who noticed that? Um, anyway, let's fast forward to now. So yeah, he's out of prison and he's boasting about his freedom. He did an Instagram lives, you know, trying to justify what he did, saying all these things. What they actually did to him, we don't actually know. Physically, didn't really do anything. Um, it was threats, basically, um, and things like that. But he's saying. He did it for that reason. Um, it's about, I don't know, pride. It's like people don't snitch. They do the time. And, yeah, as much as you can say he's an idiot for all this, for getting involved in the first place, he's clever. He's cleverer than you think, you know. Because he did save his own ass, basically. And some people just blindly think about pride first obviously I'd rather be that guy um, but think about it, he's out because he thought about things he thought about himself <laughs> and don't we all but I'm not supporting him or anything it's just an interesting story uh, I just want to see what he does to his hair next my god yeah I, I didn't think he'd be out so soon I knew he'd be out at some point I kind of knew he would we did, did we know with grass? I don't know. But it is a street code, like, don't grass. Um, but yeah. I'm not really into his music as such. But I've just seen what he's saying. Because he's quite controversial. And the new song, releasing it when he did, is controversial. But credit to him, he's like laughing in the face of these people. Yeah. Me I hope it doesn't get him killed. But yeah. Enough about that rainbow head crazy person. Uh, moving on to a nicer story. 
um, Adele lost a load of weight and yeah people are saying like what didn't you like her before you know um, there's people saying it's fat phobic and all this I mean get over yourselves like you should compliment someone on seeking a healthier life and maybe she's got a load of liposuction but there's some effort gone into losing that much weight credit to her maybe she's just making the ex-husband jealous who knows but credit to her um, just think about it this way she was the same she's the same person regardless of size same talented person you know that made, makes great great records and nothing can change that um, whatever size she is um, but people are like oh it's not fair you got to embrace who you are embrace who you are but if who you are is life threatening and gonna shorten your life dramatically then no thanks I'd rather you were healthy doesn't it's not about looks it's about staying alive in some ways you know so people are always like, oh, fat phobic if um, you know this woman's being praised for losing some weight um, and everyone else and not everyone can do it that easily um, you know it's not fair because she's made an effort with something she praise her for that like when a guy like decides to like get a six pack you know goes gym doesn't like say a youtuber that they will go from being there was a youtuber um, Ethan from the sidemen uh, whether you know him or not that's not the point I'm saying he was overweight and he made an effort to lose weight and get fit and he got a whole load of more views uh, he was just a gamer before and he changed his content about his health and his diet and this weight loss and he's better for it you know he's got more views maybe he took a dip in views but then you know he made an effort to get better and people praised him but when it's a woman it seems that it doesn't go that way it's not fair and Adele's suffering and she's lost the weight and she's getting criticism I mean come on credit to her the talent is the talent regardless of size just think about it but yeah accept who you are but to an extent like be healthy at least be happy that's the main thing that is the main thing if you're healthy you're happy really and she's obviously happier so good luck to her but yeah a bit of gossip for today gonna move on to the Joe Weller gossip in a second so Joe Weller if you don't know him he's a youtuber YouTube boxer one of the first uh, he did the first fight with KSI um, and lost and yeah he didn't take it well of course um, I wouldn't know what it's like in a boxing match or to lose one but he did and you know since then he kind of struggled with videos and took a bit of a dip uh, slowly came back um, but when he does the videos he does funny voices and impressions and stuff and acts just a bit silly um, but I found them funny regardless but now recently he released a video where he like broke down on camera about feeling guilty about the way he was acting that he wasn't acting himself he, you know he's struggling it's like a a rebrand situation and Logan Paul's gone through this after the errors he made the mistakes he made he's rebranded and like re like restyled his videos into a way that he enjoys same with KSI doing it for him not following what the viewers want in some ways and so Joe is suffering because he, he hasn't been able to grow with his viewers he hasn't grown as such he's trying to go back to how he was before but maybe people don't want to see that and as much as I enjoyed it he's got to move on slightly he's got to be happy with what he's doing because the audience will see that and regardless of what he's doing they'll enjoy it more as long as he's happy and so he's going through a tough time and yeah it's like a writer's block in some ways I've been through crises where I've been like now I'm going to quit this YouTube it's enough forget it but I'm too far in 
and yeah you gotta grow with your audience have I been, it, been here long enough to do that? maybe, oh what, three years gone from being 22, 23 to 26 three or four years in YouTube kind of growing, yeah um, sometimes, sometimes I just do random live streams and stuff and more playful videos, more comical videos just messing around um, but yeah, you do have to grow with your audience and adapt your style and go into more what you want to do you know um, some videos you do just to get views and some you do because you enjoy you've got to make it so you enjoy every video if you're not happy with it and then someone else tells you the same thing it's going to hit you hard because you're going to agree that's the thing, and hate comments are fine when they're not true but when they are true and you're thinking the same thing then that's going to hurt you, I mean in Joe Weller's case he did a, like, a piss take music video uh, with one of his friends another YouTuber, Theo Baker and it was just ridiculous and like silly and he admitted it and he, he knew that and he still uploaded it, that's the thing because he felt like it was the only way like, don't get me wrong, he's a great presenter he's great at other things but like being silly is not what, he, what he's cut out to do anymore really I'm not sure if it fits what he's trying to do he's trying to adapt, you know and he's got to keep going change up the style to something he loves and yeah, I saw we did like a Formula E promotional video that was alright that was actually really good for a video where you, where you got a sponsorship you need to make money off of it in that sense and it, I don't know if he enjoyed it but that came out really good, he's very talented if not one of the most talented like up there, he's definitely up there you know, I'm not saying the most talented but definitely up there, one of my favourite British ones and uh, good luck to him, we'll, we'll see what he brings out but yeah he's just got to be himself that's it really, that's about life not just about this situation you've got to do what's, what makes you happy and then start worrying about other people well, don't really worry about other people just those that help you along the journey that is it really but yeah that's been my gossip for today a bit of everything a bit random, not a podcast but seeing as I'm not doing a podcast I thought I'd just give a bit of gossip um, but yeah I hope you're all doing okay it's difficult times strange times we are now out of the serious lockdown into phase 2 on the Richter scale of dangerousness we're on level 4 I think there's 5 levels yeah don't let me try and explain what Boris said because nobody knows <laughs> thank you guys and do remember to subscribe like, share, comment, all the rest take it easy, stay at home if you can, go to work, don't go to work go to the park but be careful, be alert be alert guys, remember to be alert if you see that virus coming towards you run the other way <laughs> alright guys, that is it from me the boy, the week 21, once again signing off peace